Let's go. What's up, honey? This is your girl, Megan Stallion, you aka the Hot Girl Coach, reporting live with the future president of the United States. Hey, everybody. What do you have to say to the American people? We are not going back. <laughs> Cast by Charlie XCX. Definitely freedom by Beyonce. Freedom, baby. Freedom by Beyonce. Feeling good, Michael Bublé. Hot to go, all definitely. Pink Pony Club. Not like us. They not like us. They not like us. Espresso! Ain't no stopping us now. Yes, we can, can. I'm gonna have to go with 365 by Charlie XCX. It's Brad Summer, baby. It's happening. We must act now. In the middle of a wild week, the Biden administration just announced we can do this. After investing one trillion dollars into climate change, hundreds of communities are being transformed. Incredible video on this I linked in my bio. Hey, hey. Hi, Molly. Dolly Parton chose not to have kids, so J.D. Vance hates Dolly Parton? Who the fuck hates Dolly Parton? This guy's really an asshole. If I get bad press for saying don't put a homophobic racist in office, then I get bad press for that. I really don't care what I'm Kamal Headquarters, how may I serve you? Yeah, unfortunately, we're already partnering with Vita Coco Coconut Water, the original. Yeah, you too. Bye bye. Kamal Headquarters, how may I serve you? Yeah, unfortunately, we're already using Lady Gaga's The Edge of Glory as the official soundtrack for Kamala's presidential campaign. <laughs> yeah, we're super excited about it. But you can tell Katy Perry we wish her the best of luck. Again, okay? bye bye. Excuse me, sir. Trump or Kamala for president? Who, what? Trump or Kamala for president? Kamala. Excuse me, sir. Trump or Kamala? <laughs> Kamala. What would you say to Trump if he was here right now? I wouldn't talk to him. Excuse me, sir. Trump or Kamala for president? Kamala. Trump or Kamala? What are you talking about? For president, Trump or Kamala? Kamala. Fuck Trump. You were the first person to say Kamala. Right, right. I don't really like her. Well, I don't care. What would you say Trump, to Trump? Trump's an asshole. He belongs in jail. We have to know that sometimes people will open the door for you and leave it open. Sometimes they won't. And then you need to kick that fucking door down. You need to kick that fucking door down, 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 down. It's 
not an act of love If you make her, you make me do Too much labor All day, every day, therapist Mother made nymph, then a virgin Nurse, then a servant Just an appendage, lift to attend him So that he never lifts a finger 24-7, baby machine So he can live out his picket fence dreams Mr. Vice President, I'm speaking. I have to I'm wait speaking. Up. Fuck being good, I'm a bad bitch. I'm sick of motherfuckers trying to tell me how to live. Fuck Rap hoes hate under my pictures on the gram. Escucha las palabras de las brujas. Los secretos escondidos en la noche. Los antiguos dioses invocan. Good morning, my neighbors! Hey, fuck you! Yes! Yes! Fuck you too! Kamala! Hello. Hi! Hey there! Aw, oh, hi, you're both together. Oh, it's good to hear you both. I, I, I can't have this phone call without saying to my girl Kamala, I am proud of you. This is going to be historic. We called to say Michelle and I couldn't be prouder to endorse you and to do everything we can to get you through this election and, and into the Oval Office. Oh my goodness. Michelle, Barack, this means so much to me. I am looking forward to doing this with the two of you, Doug and I both, and um, getting out there, being on the road. But most of all, I just want to tell you the, the words you have spoken and the friendship that you have given over all these years mean more than I can express. So thank you both means so much and um, and we're gonna have some fun with this too aren't we Make this up, Donald Trump is losing this election to Kamala Harris because of memes. Take a look. Kamala Harris is using the power of memes to win over the youth vote and it's working. Charlie XCX, you know, actually I'll show you, look. Charlie XCX called her brat. Okay, if you know, you know. And if you don't know, then you don't need to know. But the point is, Ariana Grande endorsed her. Katy Perry endorsed her. Charlie XCX is calling her a brat. Take a look at this. People all across the internet are making <laughs> wait, hold on. <laughs> Okay, I didn't see this one. <laughs> uh, okay, <clears throat> so the people on the internet are <laughs> making me laugh. In the American political system, a presidential candidate who has been convicted of 34 felonies is considered especially heinous. In Washington, D.C., a dedicated former prosecutor is challenging this convicted felon as part of an elite squad known as Kamala Harris for president. This is her moment, and I am on her team. Oh, hey, Doug. Democrat in the Florida House. Of course I have a pride flag in my office. And you're not going to take it away. I'm a Democrat in the Florida House. Of course I cry every night. Oh, Brad, don't say that. But it's true. I'm a Democrat in the Florida House. Of course you can find me on the Florida Channel. I'm a Democrat in the Florida House. Of course almost none of my bills get a hearing. Oh, why is this not open? I'm a Democrat in the Florida House. Of course I'm defending academic freedom. I'm a Democrat in the Florida House. Of course I'm striking with our workers. I'm a Democrat in the Florida House. Of course I'm filing lots of amendments. I'm a Democrat in the Florida House, and I am so proud to be fighting for you and with you. As Alicia said, my mother would say to me, don't you ever let anybody tell you who you are. You tell them who you are. Don't ever carry as a personal burden your capacity to do whatever you dream and aspire to do based on other people's limited ability to see who can do what. This is part of what's involved, is that we have to know that sometimes people will open the door for you and leave it open, sometimes they won't.
and then you need to kick that f-ing door down. I'm never gonna vote Trump. I will never do that. I just turned 18, and I remember in fifth grade when he started running. I didn't like him then. I didn't like him during January 6th. I never did. I like my rights. And I'm willing to vote Kamala Harris to make that happen. I think also to be able to say, like, if she does become president, that would be a very historic thing for this country, and I think that would be an incredible accomplishment to conquer, conquer at this time, because Right now, at least, we've had a lot of fails. We need more ups. She's a woman, she's a person of color, she's very smart, she can argue, she can put up a debate, she has charisma, she has moxie. I think she would be a good representation of the country. She, I would want her to represent me. There are some things that, like, I don't like how she is with the police force. I think that's very, you know, Eric Adams style. I think if we really want to fix things with that stuff though, like she needs to make prisons more of maybe, I'd say a rehabilitation center. Because right now I think, especially like, even detention centers, stuff like that, they shouldn't have to be like that. They should be housings and they should be places for people to take care of themselves and find jobs and just better themselves as people. Girl, don't do it. It's not worth it. I'm not gonna do it, girl. I was just thinking about it. I'm not gonna do it. I did it. Haley Sotelo, also a digital influencer. Pleasure to meet you. Thank you. Guys, I am so excited. I literally got invited to Kamala Harris presidential rally here in Glendale, Arizona. I drove an hour across the desert to Glendale, Arizona, where then I was escorted to a private section. At this point, I only believed I was going to attend the presidential rally until I was escorted backstage to a room full of politicians and important, amazing people that really make a difference in our world. This is when everything felt surreal. I was going to meet the future president of the yeah, United so States. Hello. Also, did you influence me? Pleasure to meet you. Thank you for being here tonight. I wanted to tell her so much how much she inspires me and it is admirable all the hard work that she is doing for our country, but I literally froze. It was such a dream come true. Then we got escorted to the arena of the presidential rally and seeing everybody that turned up was absolutely amazing. This was Arizona's largest political gathering with over 12,000 people that showed up. The energy, the vibe was breathtaking. And I'm gonna get back to the business of hand. Now is the time to get a ceasefire deal. fired up I I am feeling ready to go I am feeling hopeful
Lots of trauma. Lots of trauma. Very insecure. Very insecure. You killed me. Kamala Harris and House Democrats will protect Social Security, protect Medicare, protect Medicaid, protect the Affordable Care Act, protect working families, protect small businesses, protect the middle class, protect free enterprise, protect our children, protect our seniors, protect our veterans, protect our unions, protect our dreamers, and always protect a woman's freedom to make her own reproductive health care decisions. You think you just fell out of a coconut tree? <laughs> Dance. Deceits, proof, timeline, screenshots, f***ing <laughs> Check it once, then I check it twice. Oh. Look what you made me do. Look what you made me do. Look what you just made me do. Look what you just made me do. Look what you made me do. Look what you made me do. Look what you just made me do. Look what you just made me do. I'm against gay marriage. Mm -hmm. Fifteen years ago. Wasn't a lot of Democrats that were on board with it, but we said, no, civil unions, not good enough. We're going to perform marriages, and that's what we did here in 2004. On day one, I will revoke Joe Biden's cruel policies on so-called gender-affirming care. We will fight for our transgender brothers and sisters in America. Please, sir, are you saying that if you become president, you might try to appoint justices to overrule the decision on same-sex marriage? I would strongly consider that, yes. We should not have to be dealing with 300 laws and states around our country that are attacking our LGBTQ plus brothers and sisters. But what do you say to a, a, a lesbian or a gay man who are married? and say... I, I really don't say anything. I mean, okay. I'm just, I'm just, Jake, I'm for traditional marriage. We will always stand together for equality and no one will be made to fight alone in our America. There's this really weird noise coming from the Fox News booth. Few hours. It's pretty persistent. Let us know if you guys know what this is and if maybe we should report it. I'm getting a little worried. Harris's VP pick written by a woman. Not only has Tim Waltz enacted free school meals as governor of Minnesota and signed a bill protecting trans youth, he was one of the first politicians to call for a total ceasefire and a release of hostages on both sides. When asked how he feels about uncommitted voters that don't support Biden's unconditional blowing of Netanyahu, you know what he said? Waltz said that those voters are civically engaged and should be listened to. Sorry, but hearing a dad say that we should be listened to instead of everyone becomes Republican when they're older. <laughs> Here's some other things that he signed into law as governor of Minnesota. Codifying Roe and protecting abortion. Streamlining the approval process for climate-friendly projects. 100% clean energy by 2030. Gave workers 12 weeks of paid family leave. Signing universal background checks into law. Also, Waltz used to be pro-gun, but after the Las Vegas shooting, he started calling for a ban on assault rifles. Knowing that he can be changed. Like, I can fix him. No, really, I can. <laughs> Finally, he's been campaigning for gay marriage since 2006. 2006, when men were called gay for showering. This is a step in the right direction, and it shows that the Democrats are paying attention to us. She's so good looking, she's so smart, she's so wealthy, she's so funny, she's close to her mom. She goes on really cool vacation, she'll never break your heart. Get 
the court of the legislature, women are not incubators. Hey, Kamala, what are we going to say to Donald Trump in November? Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye, bye. bye, bye, bye. Well, I don't want women to vote because I want strong marriages. Mm. I want cohesive households. I want representative government all the way down to the family. Mm. And I also want babies not murdered. Yeah. I don't want drag queen story hour. Mm. I don't want rainbow jihad. And none of that could happen if women couldn't vote. Oh my God, wouldn't it be crazy if men were actually meant to submit to women and that women were actually meant to protect and provide, which is why we're so good at it. But the patriarchy's convinced us that we need men to do it so they feel needed and we feel powerless. Wouldn't that be crazy? I think if there's one thing we learned tonight, it's that America needs a WAP. Woman as president. Girls, come on! Leave the saving the world to the men? I don't think so. I don't think so. Lift that sky, young bad girls, do it well. Breaking gay news, Kamala Harris Amen. just did this. Hi everyone, it's Kamala Harris. Each day we are seeing our rights and freedoms under attack, including the right of everyone to be who they are, love who they love, openly and with pride. So as we fight back against these attacks, let's all remember, no one is alone. We are all in this together and your vote is your power. So please make sure your voice is heard this November and register to vote at vote.gov. Can I get an amen? Amen! amen. <laughs> Tired of being judged for choosing to have children or not have children, to have children and go back to work, to have children and not go back to work, for being too thin, too fat, too pushy, too unambitious, too hot, not hot enough, or even for just daring to be alive, women have stressed that everyone can go fuck themselves. When they say a woman has to slow down, become smaller, take up less space, calm down, no. Absolutely not. Why? Who says? Why can't we ride it till the wheels fall off? <laughs> you think you just fell out of a coconut tree? <laughs> you exist in the context.
What is that cake? <laughs> that caramel? Just oh. Jay's. I want a oh, slice of that. Caramel yeah, is like done. my favorite. Okay, I'm, oh, Wait. chocolate and caramel? Fantastic. <laughs> what are you getting? Oh, I'm, I'm good. No, I you don't want anything sweet? You don't here. want anything sweet? Get something sweet. Yes. Well, you talked about that caramel cake. Yeah. Okay, and then a slice of the cake. We got the for cake. the congresswoman. And then my slice. Yes. Thank you all very Thank much. You. Thank you. She's gonna take your dogs and she's gonna put them with a transgender alien. And beside the transgender alien is gonna be the entire cast of Secret Life of Pets. Beside the Secret Life of Pets will be lots of drinks, very, very strong drinks, with barbecue sauce all over them. She's gonna ruin your dog. Well, you're a disgrace, just so you know. Clearly, I am not Joe Biden, and I am certainly not Donald Trump. And what I do offer is a new generation of leadership for our country. One who believes in what is possible. One who brings a sense of optimism about what we can do instead of always disparaging the American people. Women are not even accepted as human beings. Mr. Vice President, I'm speaking. <laughs> I'm speaking. Especially to the Republicans, don't mistake our kindness for weakness for damn sure. Do not make that mistake because we're ready to fight this thing to the bitter end. We know it's going to be a challenge, but this convention is a great opportunity for us to showcase the best of America. Why did you come to the DNC? I came to find out what they were going to talk about. I'm really curious to see what their like policy agenda is. I wanted to know how the whole like institution worked. I'm here with the Uncommitted Movement to help strengthen the Democratic Party under the shared value of human rights and get an arms embargo. I came to the DNC because I'm a historian and they say journalism is the first set of history that we learned. This is the most online election yet and I want to talk to the people that are going to decide it. I am primarily here to report on the Uncommitted Movement. So um, there are about 30 uncommitted delegates that came to the DNC and right now they're converting Harris delegates to become ceasefire delegates. So they already voted for Harris but they'd also be publicly supporting a ceasefire. So I am helping spread the word about what they're doing. Creators are super important. I feel like and you know we are democratized media i came to the dnc specifically to be able to represent for black people and palestinians i know a lot of y'all get caught up in trends and thinking about who humanity is popular to advocate for i know right now it ain't popular to talk about black folks and palestinians right now but damn it that's what i'm here for uh to meet everyone just to meet everybody Donald Trump is getting destroyed online because his MAGA movement tried to cancel Dolly Parton. Years ago, Donald Trump tried to cancel Taylor Swift and he failed miserably. Years later, he needed a new enemy and naturally he had to pick a strong, powerful woman. So he's coming after Dolly Parton, but on day one of this little war he tried to start with her, he failed miserably. The Federalist, the far-right MAGA newspaper that is part of Donald Trump's MAGA movement, decided to release an article claiming that Dolly Parton isn't a woman of faith. Okay, if you know Dolly Parton, then you know that she has invested millions in black communities, LGBTQ plus communities. She has given away books to teach children how to read. She has built schoolhouses. And not to mention, she built Dollywood. Nonetheless, this woman is an angel. And for Donald Trump to think that he stood any chance coming after her, today he got his butt handed to him by the internet. And I'm just...
This is phenomenal. I mean, I'm talking about Democrats, independents, and even some MAGA Republicans, and look it up, I'm not kidding, slammed him. Many of us sit here wondering, what is a hero? A hero is one that looks in the face of adversity and shows courage, bravery, and compassion for others. Let us celebrate this hero. Another one, thank you. 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 If you question our president, then you're a dirty traitor. <laughs>